Well, it's a, it's a bipartisan study to look at uh, how fairly citizens are treated by state agencies when they get into a situation where their license is on the line, their professional license, or some kind of a regulation. Uh, they go before an administrative law judge oftentimes before they'll go to a district court. Well, these are administrative law judges that are paid for, employed by, or contracted for by the state agency. And so there's uh, reason to believe, and I've seen it uh, in my career, uh, a bias on the part of, of that process in favor of the agency and against the citizen. And uh, the citizens of Oklahoma deserve better. They deserve uh, a robust due process that uh, isn't biased against them. It isn't used by the agency to, to uh, increase their revenue. And these are all things that, that we've seen that do happen. Now, they don't happen with every agency, but this study was, a, was an attempt to get that on the table and to solicit input. And, and uh, we had three uh, really great uh, administrative law judges that came and talked about it and, and I think are giving us some direction that we can follow. And I, I look forward to, to chasing those, uh, those issues down. Last session, we had a bill filed to possibly move administrative hearing officers, administrative law judges, and state agencies under a separate independent entity to remove the appearance of bias and the conflict of interest. Oftentimes, uh, these hearing officers will make decisions regarding fines where that money will go back to the agency. So that appearance of a conflict and the agency just making money off of a ruling is something that Representative Nelson and I felt we need to follow up further and possibly remove that conflict. Several states currently look at different uh, independent agencies or possibly even moving the entities under their judicial branch uh, to try and help that appearance of bias and this is something we want to investigate. Uh, we're hoping it will be a cost shift where it won't take additional money uh, to do this but we certainly want to give every uh, possibility f for this to happen and see if we can come up with some way to have a better system of justice in place for individuals when they go before a state agency.